internet, this is Paco Amino, back with a brand new episode of The Grid, a show that dives deep into immersive virtual worlds. This week, put yourselves in the shoes of Bruce Wayne in this fresh new take on The Dark Knight. Enter Batman, the Telltale series. Batman, the Telltale series is an episodic point-and-click graphic adventure video game developed and published by Telltale Games. The game is based on Bill Finger and Bob Kane's Batman comic book series, though not tied to any previous adaptation of the work in film or other media. I'm no stranger to other Telltale games, such as The Walking Dead, Game of Thrones, The Wolf Among Us, and Tales from the Borderlands, just to name a few or even similar games from different studios, like Life is Strange, for example. With that said, I still feel that Batman The Telltale series is truly unique. Apart from the tried and tested Telltale formula composed of quick time events, narrative decision making, excellent storytelling, and the comic book aesthetic, they've incorporated a bunch of new features as well. Crowdplay, a feature which allows friends to judge or influence your decision making UI cosmetic preference adjustments, the special bat meter for finishing moves, and what is essentially a home-based system, the bat cave. The bat computer serves as your main hub. You can read and watch the news and see your narrative choices affect the game world. Check the codex to learn more about lore, characters, story elements, and more. Having a base to go back to in the game is an especially interesting addition as most Telltale games have you constantly moving to new contained areas. There's still plenty of that of course, but it's refreshing to see Gotham in a different light. In fact, not only did they paint a different picture of the city, this game also did an excellent job at unraveling the enigma that is Bruce Wayne. It's important to note that half the time, you'll be playing as Bruce Wayne and not Batman. That's one of the things I love the most about this title because everybody knows how awesome it is to be the Batman, but we don't see enough of the billionaire playboy cave dweller behind the mask in most video game adaptations. Taking the role of Bruce Wayne, the largest election campaign supporter of aspiring mayor Harvey Dent, you'll be attending press meetings, hosting lavish parties, and be constantly haunted by painful memories. Don't get me wrong, the game is jam-packed with combat and action as one would expect. The game balances alter egos seamlessly. Gruesome combat sequences literally paint the town red. Some scenes even made me feel a bit of guilt as I destroyed and tortured helpless henchmen. This being a point and click adventure game, puzzle solving and detective work is a core aspect. Bat Tech reconstructs events at a crime scene using fancy sensors and flashy holograms. Of course, a Batman game wouldn't be complete without high-tech gizmos and gadgets at your disposal. Expect to see grappling guns, drones, iPhones, the Batmobile, and more cutting-edge tech in this present-day interpretation of the franchise. In my humble opinion, Telltale has managed to take its stellar writing to a whole new level. For the first time, I actually cried playing a point-and-click adventure game. So many quotable quotes, clever dialogue, intriguing subtext, convincing actors will have you on a roller coaster of emotions throughout this episodic experience. Troy Baker, probably my favorite video game voice actor, did an amazing job as expected and really brought Bruce Wayne to life. Interestingly, Jason Spizak as Oswald Cobblepot felt eerily similar to the villain from Far Cry 4. Anne Rytel as Alfred Pennyworth and Laura Bailey as Selena Kylie deserve honorable mentions for awesome performances. I really felt a connection with these characters. Alfred as the caring, wise father figure, and Selena, or Catwoman, veiled in a dark cloud of mysterious intrigue that will leave you wanting more. If this is a taste of what's to come in this epic, episodic DC adventure, I'll definitely get my hands on the entire season. Batman, the Telltale series, is definitely something you ought to experience if you're a fan of the Dark Knight or grim, gripping narratives in general. Question of the week. 
What superhero would you want to play as in a future Telltale game? Let me know in the comments section down below, I'd love to talk about it. And as always, let me know if you enjoyed this video. This is Paco MNL. Thank you so much for watching, and the future is now.